You guys want me to tell you the story of how Zero was like super virgin at some point? Like you want me to tell you a story of Zero? Because I always tell you stories where like I look good. How about I tell you guys a story where I look stupid? So this is, I think I was 15, 16. This is back when I played a lot of League of Legends. Because I was really into League of Legends or something like that. There was like, there was a match that one time I played a match in rank. And the support player was really nice. They were like communicating a lot. They were really nice. And while well, some people were flaming me in game, uh, the support player was defending me, right? And I was like, cool. So then anyway, I added this person after the game. I'm like, hey, you were like really nice to play with. Might as well add you. So, you know. Whatever. Like, I didn't really think about it too much. And then, at some point, uh, this is like an, after a while, I was like, hey, do, like, we should hop in a call. It'll be easier to uh, be in a call than to type. And they were like, yeah, sure. And I hop in a call, and the first thing I hear was like a girl voice. So, Virgin Ass Zero was just like, oh, sh gold mine, gold mine. I was like, oh, there's no way. I tried not to be awkward, but I was probably awkward. So, anyway. Uh, I kept playing with uh, with this person for like quite a while, for, uh, with her for quite a while. Like the month went by and whatever, and we grew up very close. Like we would just like play almost every day, like every other day at least. We would like talk about like other stuff in like the, the League of Legends DM chat or whatever. It was like pretty normal, like nothing really was going on. It was, she was actually like like a good friend. At some point, she was like, she was like, hey, here's my Facebook. I was like, okay. So then I checked her Facebook, and the first thing I did was like, does she have any other friends? Like, like is she real or whatever? She had like tons of friends, you know, she had like pictures of like multiple places and whatever. And I was like, cool. Okay, cool. So I was like, okay, she's real. So I was like, okay, so we're not getting jivated. Cause I was like, I was like, we might just be getting like fish or whatever. So anyway, uh, I didn't really think too much of it. Cause at the time I lived in Chile and you know, she lived in like somewhere in, in the, the US. Army. So it's like, even like there was obviously like nothing could happen anyway. I actually learned that she was like, five or six years older than me too. She was like 20 something. I was like 17 or 16 or something like that. So this kept going on for like a little bit. And then eventually, you know, I stopped playing League of Legends as much. Uh, I, started, I came back to Smash. I just started focusing on Smash and I started traveling. This is like a year later. I ended up on the US when I was like 17. I was like almost 18. Uh, while this was going on, I talked to her at some point because I, I played League and I was like, hey, I'm actually here. And she was like, oh, really? I actually live in this state. And I was like, wow, we're actually pretty close to each other. And she was like, yeah, you should come visit. And I was like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll come visit. So anyway, I went to a tournament that was in the area. I planned to go to a tournament. So like, even if I got juvated or whatever, I didn't waste my time, right? So I went to go to this tournament. Then I was like, okay, after the tournament, I'll go visit you. And she was like, cool, cool. I remember I asked my friend, I was like, hey, how far is this address from you? And he was like, it's like an hour away, bro. And I was like, oh, that sucks. I asked my friend's parents, because I was staying at my friend. I was like, hey, can you guys drive me to see a girl? And they were like, we would love to, but we actually have to go do something right now. So then they, they told me, but hey, uh, we have a guy who does our lawn and he drives a truck and sometimes he's down to do like drives and stuff. So how about you ask him if he can drive you? So we called this this lawn guy or whatever. They extermin he was actually exterminator. <laughs> so we called the exterminator and then I asked him, hey, you think you can drive me from, from here to here? He was like, yeah, I'll drive you for like 20 bucks or something. I was like, cool. So anyway, we went, I went with the exterminator. So I got into the truck of the exterminator guy. I literally at first met, he was like this, like, like big fat guy, whatever, dude. <laughs> I literally tell him I'm literally going to see a girl. I literally am telling him what I'm telling you guys. And he's looking at me like I'm crazy. Also, keep in mind that at this point in time, I had a phone with no service. Uh, I literally got dropped off in some random college. We we got there using fucking, uh, like paper maps because at the time, no one had like, like, at the time, like cell phones uh, and like Google Maps were like not that popular like that. So we had to go there with like normal directions. We took like an hour to get there. I got there and the guy was like, you sure it's here? I was like, yeah, you know, I was getting dropped at a, at a college, at a college. So I get dropped in a random college with my suitcase, a pillow. And I'm just sitting there really awkwardly. Like everyone is just looking at me. And then keep in mind, I, to I told her that I was going to arrive at a certain time. So we arrived at like a pretty certain time and I couldn't tell her anything in my um in my phone because like even if i told her anything in my phone i didn't have internet so like i couldn't tell her anything because i had no service i had to have like a phone that could go to wi-fi so anyway i'm sitting there for like 15 minutes and i'm literally worried because i'm like bro she javaded me dude this is all fake like this is not real gg dude gg and i was like extremely concerned i was like wow dude and then there's like a random asian girl that i kind of can kind of recognize i like a dude and they're like, hey, are you Gonzalo? And I'm like, yeah. Oh, so you're so-and-so's friend. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah, she asked us to come meet you. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm like, oh, sh okay, it's real. Okay. So then I just walk up and then I see her. She's just like at a random, she's just sitting somewhere. She comes in, gives me a hug. She's like super friendly. And I'm like, oh, she's kind of, in my head, I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, she's kind of hot. And then, 
in my head I'm, I'm like in my head i'm kind of worried i'm like okay i don't know what to do i'm kind of worried so anyway i we started just talking um and then I, I just i was just hanging out with her friends she's like really cool with me just hanging out with her friends and i'm like this is kind of weird because like her friends don't know me but everyone is so nice to me a couple hours just go by and then she's like hey um so what do you want to do for tonight and i'm like i don't know i mean i'm kind of just here i don't really have anything to do like whatever you want to do i'm done and then she's like well if you want we can um uh, we can go hang out on my dorm and i'm like oh f in my head i'm thinking i'm like i'm like okay yeah sure we can go to your dorm so like okay yeah we go to the, her dorm and then as soon as we get into the dorm she's like oh yeah by the way my roommate is not here and i'm like, like now that i look back at it i'm like i'm like i'm like there's there was definitely something going on just the first thing she said as i got to her dorm was like oh yeah there's nobody here and i was like oh, okay cool keep in mind i was like 17 at the time and i was really f stupid so in my head i'm like i'm like oh okay so there's nobody here so we can be loud i was literally just thinking about like we can watch a movie and have it loud that's literally as far as my my f brain went now that i'm an adult it was pretty obvious what was going on inviting me over you know having me hang out with her friends hanging out with me for like five hours plus and then like inviting me to her dorm and then telling me like two times yeah by the way there's no one here so i was super dense and then we're hanging out on the couch and we're just talking about a whole bunch of stuff we're having a good time and then she's like she's like hey if you want we can she's like she's like hey come to my room we can hang out in my room and i'm like okay so i'm literally sitting in her bed and she's like right next to me like right next to me bro i'm literally in the bed sitting at her bed so anyway i'm literally there talking for like 30 minutes oh my God, when I think about it, I want to kill myself, dude. So I'm like, there's no way I was this stupid. We're just sitting there talking for 30 minutes. We're having a great conversation. And then she literally, I don't know where's bro. He's like, hey, I actually have to take a shower. Do you mind waiting? I was like, no, cool. Take your time. Uh, I don't have a rush. He's like, thank you. You're so, you're always Welcome so nice. You're always so nice. I think she grabbed my arm too. And I was like, okay, yeah, no problem. So anyway, she just went to take a shower. Three minutes go. I'm, I'm not even trolling you. Three minutes go by. And then she comes out of the shower with the tiniest towel I've ever seen. I literally almost see her naked completely. Like, it, it literally happened like that. And she's like, hey, Gonzalo. And she like opened the door. And she's like, could you come here for a moment? And I'm like, to the bathroom? She's like, yeah, yeah, just come here. And I'm like, okay. So now I'm literally in the bathroom with the shower running. She has a towel. She's literally, literally naked. And she literally asked me like a couple questions. Asked me to go grab something from her. I think it was lotion. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just remember it was fucking lotion, yo. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in the bathroom. Ask me for a lotion. We're talking in the shower, and it's like not kind of awkward, but she's just looking at me like directly in the eyes. And then she's like, she's like, okay, I'm gonna shower, but she didn't say leave. She was just like, okay, I'm gonna shower, and I was like, oh, okay, no problem. I'll, I'll let you be. No worries. And then I left by my own turn. <sighs> And then she takes like a 20 minute shower. I don't know why it was so long. And then she comes back and she's just like talking to me. And then she's like, she's like, hey, I'm kind of tired. I'm going to go to sleep. And I was like, where do I sleep? And she was like, oh, you can sleep wherever you want. And I was like, is the couch open tonight? Dude, look at how idiot, how much of an idiot I was, yo. She was like, you can sleep anywhere you want. And I was like, oh yeah, okay. I'll take the couch, no problem. <laughs> 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 Yo, I can't believe it to this day. And then I went to sleep in the couch, and then like it's overnight, and then she came to talk to me at the couch. She like talked to me about some more stuff, and then she left, and then she was like, "Okay, good night." So like we hanged out for a while, and then she drove me in the morning, gave me like a super long hug, and was like really nice. And then like a week later, she got a boyfriend, and then we like stopped talking as much because now that I think about it. It's kind of weird that she stopped talking to me after she got a boyfriend. Now that I'm older, it makes sense that she stopped talking to me because maybe she liked me. And because she got into a relationship, it made no sense to keep talking to me like that. Like if she like if we were if we were just friends, then she would she would just keep talking to me because like, you know, whatever, right? Like you're not gonna stop being friends with someone because you get into a relationship, right? Like it literally happened that like she has you got she got a boy uh, boyfriend. We basically stopped talking to each other. To this day, I kick myself in the nuts. It's funny. So anyway, I, I had to tell you guys the story because I always tell you stories where I look good. So I'm going to just tell you a story where you can just make fun of me pretty much.